don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawayi. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about Jordan Ayew's permanent move to Crystal Palace. We all know last season he spent a loan spell there from Swansea City. The move has been made permanent, and I'll give you more details on that. We're also going to hear why Mubarak Wakasu, after the AFCON 2019 exit, he was in so much tears. We all know, yes, it's because he lost. But further details into why he reads really in tears has been brought to light. And also, the Ghana Football Association is set to receive $200,000 from CAF annually. This is an increment on the initial fees that are usually taken for Ghana football here. As usual, if you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, we all know Ghana Black Stars player Jordan Ayu was alone at Crystal Palace with a bit patro I have to say he played 24 games for the Crystal Palace side and unfortunately he could not make as much influence as he would have wanted to fast forward to the AFCON 2019 he was influential albeit Ghana's early exit in the round of 16 to Tunisia he scored two goals on the way to that and provided an assist in the 2-2 draw with Benin. Now, following that impressive performance at the AFCON, Crystal Palace have decided to sign the Ghanaian forward permanently. Yes, he'll be with Crystal Palace for the next three years on a permanent deal. This is no longer a loan move as Swansea were looking to offload the Ahu brothers. I brought you a story here saying that Swansea City were looking to offload the Ahu brothers because of the wage bill of the club and it was too much for them so they have to offload the Swansea players and the two Swansea players and successfully they have offloaded Jordan Ayu to Crystal Palace it's a great great signing for Jordan excited for him you can see it here on your pictures now Ghana Black Star striker Jordan Ayu has completed a permanent move from Swansea to Crystal Palace on a three-year deal both clubs have announced Jordan spent last season on loan at Crystal Palace and made 20 Premier League appearances, scoring two goals and assisting one. Crystal Palace Twitter handle announcing here that Jordan has joined Palace on a three-year deal. Welcome back, Jordan. That's what the message said. Jordan helped Ghana reach a round of 16 in the African Cup of Nations. He scored two goals. So kudos to Jordan Ayu. We are really excited for him hope this is the beginning of greater things to come for the Ghanaian forward and he gets much more consistent playing time in this team as well there are so many other players he has to contend in terms of starting birds but I think Jordan Ayu should be fine in that respect he's shown in the AFCON that he's a great striker he can score goals when given the right service and I think Crystal Palace will identify that and look to provide him with what he needs to develop as a player so what do you think about Jordan Ayun's move to Crystal Palace you think it's a positive one you think it will help the player grow better let me know your thoughts in the comments box concerning this move by Jordan Ayu to Crystal Palace on a permanent basis for on a three-year deal now did it are you unfortunately I've not heard anything on that front yet probably there'll be a move in the works for him and before the transfer window closes as I said in my video a move will be secured for him since Swansea are looking to offload the two players someone commented that why should a captain of the Black Stars be someone who is looking for a club eh? stranger things have happened and we all know Andrea Yu is a good good player whether to be captain of the side that's another debate for later and I think he'll get a club he's a player which any club would be happy to have unfortunately that club is not Fenerbahce who are not interested in signing him permanently let me know your thoughts and what do you think Andre Ayu will end up eventually now to my next story it has to do with the Ghana Football Association now the Ghana Football Association usually gets some monies from CAF in terms of looking after football activities here in the country and know that after the recent uh, announcement of the budget by the sports minister interesting budgets there I have to say CAF has announced that it will give the Ghana Football Association $200,000 dollars annually this is an increment from the usual hundred thousand dollars the Ghana Football Association gets and the story says that the Ghana Football Association will receive two hundred thousand dollars annually from the CAF 
as this continent's football governing body has increased its grants to the various national associations. Now, the annual grant for the various associations has been increased from 100,000 to 200,000. It was announced at the 32nd General Assembly of CAF held at Marriott Hotel in Cairo on Thursday. According to the CAF President Ahmad Ahmad, the said increment forms part of the four reforms instituted towards the growth of the game. Another measure which deserves your attention is a differential increase in the indemnities of allowances paid to match officials and taken into account by CAP. These decisions will come into a new wave of reforms and are meant to give a dynamic to the general activities of the Confederation, he stated in his address. So, increment in the stipends that usually goes to the national associations 200,000 from $100,000. What do you think about that? Hopefully, it will be put to good use here, especially in Ghana, and hopefully, it will help develop the football locally and help the grassroots and juvenile football because that's where the talented people are. The talented people are in the grassroots football. What do you think about this increment? Now, to my final story, and it's about the AFCON 2019. We all know Ghana exited at the round of 16 stage and Mubarak Wakasu was a stalwart in that team. He did really well winning the man of the match on two occasions, providing an assist, getting an assist on multiple occasions and it, it, it was quite unfortunate to see him in tears. He broke down in tears after Ghana exited the AFCON 2019 and it has come out to as why he was in so much tears he, he felt he had betrayed Ghanaians that's apparently why he was in tears he felt the black stars had betrayed Ghanaians now a broken hearted Mubarak Wakas wept uncontrollably after Ghana was eliminated from the 2019 African Cup of Nations by the Carthage Eagles of Tunisia in the round of 16 the midfielder who won the hearts of Ghanaians with his zealous and passionate displays was left devastated by Ghana's exit. Speaking after the game, a tearful Wakasu said, I can't even describe how we are feeling. I need to thank my colleagues, the whole of Ghana for their support and I think that I think whatever happened in this game is part of the game. So I think we need to think about our future. That's the only thing I can talk of now. I thought this tournament was for us due to the hard work we have been putting in in every game. That is the reason I am like this right now, but we are still have a future we have to think about right now. However, a close friend of Wakasu and Ghana goalie Fatal Dauda has revealed that Wakasu assured him in a conversation ahead of the tournament that he was going to return to Ghana with the trophy. According to the Nyema FC goalkeeper, the team's inability to leave the trophy felt like betrayal of trust and love for the Ghanaians in the view of Wakasu. He, was, he also pleaded the Ghanaians to be a bit more thoughtful and charitable with their criticism of the Black Stars players. You know why Wakazu cried? He said, before the tournament, he told me that, the, that Lion, we, we need to win the trophy. So he felt very bad after we were knocked out. All the players wanted to win the trophy. None of them is happy. They went there to win it. But it was unfortunate, he said. When things happen like that, as a player, you need to pick yourself up and do well. The same people who criticize you when you are not doing well are the same who will praise you when you are doing well. So criticism is part of the game. So as a player, you should not be bothered by criticism. Fatal also failed to rule out a certain return to the Black Star. I'm still active and I'm still playing, but it's about selection. I'm also, if I'm doing well and they select me, why not? I will come and play, serve my nation, he said. No, so Fatal doubt that they're revealing to us why really Mubarak Wakasu was heartbroken and crestfallen after the Black Stars defeat to Tunisia in the AFCON 2019. I think this is clearly why Mubarak Wakasu was in so much tears. So that is it for today. Kudos to Jordan Ayu on his move to Crystal Palace, permanent three year move to Crystal Palace, and also Ghana FA to get much more increased amount of two hundred thousand dollars stipend annually from CAF and also we heard from 
Mubarak Akasu's friend Fatal Dauda as to why he was so crestfallen after our exit from Afcon 2019. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything. Enjoy your day.